this plan uh, to keep Chinese tech companies from being delisted, is this going to fly? Is this going to work? Uh, well, talking about the delisting, uh, it's, it's mostly the, the, a compliance issue on the China side. Uh, because for the U.S. side, right, the SEC has, you know, including Gessler's recent speech, made it very clear that the U.S. side wants a full compliance of the uh, uh, of the holding foreign companies accountable law as well as the SEC detailed rules. Uh, so uh, uh, it's fairly clear that the U.S. side uh, does not want to change too much. So it's really up to China side to figure out how to quote unquote fully comply with the requirement. So is this a polite way of saying that this whole three tier, three tiers of uh, data based on sensitivity, that's not going to be enough? Well, uh, the, it's, it's likely to be a compromise uh, for, for most of the companies. Uh, earlier, uh, SEC made a suggestion that for the most, uh, for, for the most, most data sensitive industry companies, you know, maybe the best practice, best solution is for, Chinese, for those Chinese companies to to, 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 to uh, voluntarily uh, delist from the U.S. side. And so it is up to uh, the less data sensitive industries, uh, maybe the majority of the listed companies uh, for that, you know, maybe there's a possible solution between the U.S. and the China side to, to, to figure out how to comply with the auditing requirements from the, uh, from, the, the China, uh, from the U.S. side. And at the same time, allows the China side to feel comfortable to release the data for overseas listing disclosure requirements.